The flu is here and it's a rough and early season. How to best protect yourself and your family and avoid those ridiculous wait times to see the doctor. Hey, we've got a doctor in the house. He's here to help. We'll talk with him after this quick break. Stay with us. You're starting smart with the best conversation in the Valley. CBS 5 Morning News. Welcome back. Time now is 525 on your Friday morning. We've been talking about how flus, the flu has made ER visits double in the last month with people coming in with uh, symptoms, trying to get a little relief. And we're live this morning with Dr. Matt Shores. He's a uh, fast med urgent care doctor. And you are just being overrun with people coming in with the flu right now. We are. We are. It's been a very busy season so far. Okay. And it's early. And you reminded me uh, the flu season peaks in February. So we still got a ways to go on this. It generally does. Most cases of the flu over the past um, years when they've been studied peak in the month of February and, and go all the way flu season through the month of May. Um, so this is an early early sort of uh, rush that we're seeing. And we want to get the word out too. We've been talking about the wait times. It's just been ridiculous for people. Um, we talked about the ERs doubling. People shouldn't be headed to the ER. No, you really shouldn't. The emergency departments should really be uh, for patients with in major complications um, of the flu uh, so that they can really you know assess patients that need to be admitted to the hospital or have life-threatening issues that need to be addressed. Um, primary care doctor's offices and urgent care is really should be the, the first place to stop to get checked for something like the flu. You know, I'd leave it up to those providers, your primary care doctor or the mm -hmm. urgent care physicians to sort of quote unquote triage you and if they feel like you're sick enough and need to go to the ER, they can uh, send you that way. But more, more often than not, they'll take care of it right there. Okay, and so let's talk about how to uh, beat the wait time. Is there a method to the madness? Because, um, you know, some people say, okay, go first thing right out the gate early in the morning, but you say not necessarily. No, not necessarily. There's there's really no, no method to the madness at all. It's an urgent uh -huh. care, sort of first come, first serve. People, you never know when people are going to come in and come out. But, it, you know, from years of doing it and a, a general thinking, uh, the best thing to do is maybe to avoid early in the morning and definitely avoid uh, later in the evening, mm -hmm. um, closer to closing. A lot of times, midday is the best, you know. Wow. So if you have a chance to sneak out um, during your lunch break or sneak out of work a little early and get mm -hmm. checked out, usually midday is the best, I would I, say. I would not have thought of that. So that's great news, man. And um, you work for FastMed. You guys have more than a dozen urgent cares mm -hmm. um, here in the Valley. Uh, you can also call ahead and you can get online and try to book an appointment before you come down to avoid that wait. You can. You can call ahead and um, front desk staff can get you um, booked or you can, uh, with our company, there's something called a zip pass and you can go okay. online to the website um, or get yourself logged in on a zip pass and it's sort of a um, way of logging yourself in so that when you come in, it decreases your wait time. Okay, so aside from the obvious, if you're healthy at home right now, you're washing your hands, using a lot of the Purell, uh, stay home if you're sick, but what are the other um, advice for folks who um, are, are not yet sick with the flu? It's not too late to get the vaccine, right? It's not, no. I mean, anytime you read anything from the CDC or talking to your, your primary care doctor, everybody's going to recommend getting the flu vaccine. Uh, without a doubt, definitely if you're over the age of 65, if you're under the age of two, pregnant females, um, anybody with complicating factors like asthma is a very common medical condition. Those are all people that should definitely be getting the flu shot. And anybody that's, you know, in close contact to those, which is just about the whole population. So you should really get the flu shot. It's not too late. Like we said, February is usually the peak month. So this doesn't, even though we're seeing a huge rush of it right now, the first week of January, it doesn't mean we're through the clear. And, um, it, you know, last year, for example, was a very late flu season. It was April, May that we saw the peaks yeah. last year. And so it, we've got four months to kind of protect yourself by getting the flu vaccine. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. You're Matt welcome. Shores with FastMed Urgent Care. Yeah. Um, get in and see a doctor and do it early because you can get treatment in those first 48 hours.